Hey everyone, it's Vosk of the Vosk Coin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to highlight the best privacy coin in cryptocurrency. It's gonna be a fun video, and it's gonna make some people mad. I think 2018 is gonna be the year of privacy coins, and we're gonna see some new ones show up, and we're gonna talk about the best ones out right now, and really, uh, what is the best privacy coin anyway? When I hear privacy coin, two coins shoot at the top of my mind. Monero and Zcash, as well as a couple of their really cool variations, which I will get to in a second. But let's talk about Monero first because they are the OG in the privacy coin space. And with that, they use ring signatures. Every transaction in Monero is a private transaction. There are no public transactions. Whereas in Zcash, you choose by default, you're public, and you can choose to do a private transaction based off of ZK Snarks. So I have a whole video going over what ZK Snarks is. So if you're interested in that, check it out. But it's a cool cryptographic method. And whereas Monero, they have their ring signatures, which essentially jumble and scramble all of your transactions. So it's untraceable in, in a short summary. So let's talk two negatives. One about Monero and one about Zcash. People state that Zcash is going to scale better than Monero and that uh, Monero carries kind of a heavy transaction fee. And partially that's due to the fact that every transaction is private. Whereas in Zcash, you know, the layman's terms of it is that a public transaction, basically a Bitcoin transaction is really what's taking place there uh, to give it a comparison, is gonna be cheaper and quicker to do on the blockchain because it's just a smaller, you know, by data. Whereas a private transaction, when you can opt, you can opt in and do that on uh, Zcash, is gonna be a little bit more expensive as far as fees and just a uh, burden on the network. This is where a really cool piece comes in. Zencash, which is a fork of Zcash, utilizing all of that same tech, but implementing it in kind of their own way with their own team and doing really uh, different things and more things, uh, you know, in other regards. They have partnered with IOHK, which uh, are also the team behind Ethereum Classic and Cardano, if I'm saying that right. Cardano would be so much fancier to say. What they're really looking at is, well, how can we scale this out? Because crypto is really cool, right? I mean, Monero is cool, Zcash is cool, Zencash is cool. But if everyone tried to use either of these today in the world, forget about it. Crypto is still so young. We have so much to learn and so much to improve upon. And with that, it really leaves this privacy coin space up for grabs. We want to look at it right now. There's no disputing that Monero is the top crypto coin, or excuse me, privacy coin, and then followed by Zcash. After that, it's debatable. If you think that Dash is a privacy coin by using their private send feature, well, then you could see them as one of the top privacy coins. But if you do a lot of research about Dash and all that stuff, you probably won't really think they're that much of a privacy coin. And you may kind of be disappointed when you hear masternodes. Last time I checked, I think they take 45% of block rewards from miners. Total side note here, but shout out to all my cryptocurrency miners out there. I am a cryptocurrency miner as well. And uh, we've been getting a ton of hate from the whole gaming community, and they've been polarized by some of the people they idolize over there. But, um, you know, guess what? Too bad. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing what I, we believe in, and if they want to play video games, and they can continue with that. I've played video games my whole life. I've gamed my whole life. I love video games. But to disrespect us because we're using graphics cards to basically change the world, uh, get over it. So it's a little bit easier for me to talk about Zencash because if you follow my channel, I'm very involved with Zencash. I've been mining Zencash for a while, and I just know a lot about Zencash, and I see how active their team is. And I know that they've integrated their own private messaging platform into uh, their Swing Wallet. So you can send, uh, you know, totally private messages on the block blockchain. You could kind of do that with Zcash, but they totally fleshed out that feature in such an awesome way. So, you know, you talk about a privacy coin. It doesn't just need to be, in my opinion, uh, you know, I send it to you and no one ever knew. It should also include some other privacy features, which is what's really cool about the Zencash platform that they're bringing anonymous publishing out, um, as well as obviously just the peer-to-peer the -peer messaging, one-to-one uh, -one and one-to-many, as well as uh, their secure node system, which I did a whole video on if you want to check out about secure nodes. But this isn't just about Zencash, it's also about these other coins. Zcash and their next big upgrade on the roadmap, Sapling, are bringing up ZK Starks which is supposed to allow private transactions to be less uh, resource heavy 
and reduce the consumption there, which would allow for a better implementation and wide scale usage and adoption of their privacy function. So that's a huge piece uh, to motivate Zcash. However, where is Zcash really used? You know, I, I don't mean to bring up the dark web, I don't use the dark web or anything like that, but if you look at it, Monero has true functionality there and it showcases the features of it. Uh, they have a saying that you should have used Monero when uh, someone gets busted for using Bitcoin. And this isn't about ways to evade laws and whatever, but this is a true test of if it's private. If you have a private coin, there'd be no way to trace it down if it's truly untraceable. Another problem with Monero is their uncapped supply. But I don't mean to sound like I'm hating on Monero. Here's a really cool feature of Monero. Fungible. What does fungible mean? Basically, I have this Monero, you have that Monero, and they are exactly the same and interchangeable. Let's compare that with the big dog, Bitcoin. You, I have a Bitcoin and you have a Bitcoin, but you know, a year ago, your Bitcoin was used to fund terrorist activities. And that is proven on the blockchain that can be traced. And at the end of the day, some people say that you have a tainted Bitcoin. You have a terrorist Bitcoin. My Bitcoin was used to buy pizza and cupcakes. So I've got a pizza and cupcake Bitcoin. You've got a terrorist Bitcoin. That kind of means you have a dirty Bitcoin. No one wants a dirty Bitcoin anymore. And uh, that's potentially a problem because all of the history in Monero's transactions, scrambled, erased, done, gone, untraceable, everything like that. So uh, when you get a Monero, it's like a brand new Monero almost. They're all the same. When you get a Bitcoin, you get a Bitcoin with a whole history of everything he's ever done. Which, you know, for the most part, isn't necessarily the biggest deal, in my opinion. But if someone or some organization wants to make that a big deal, well, then it's now a big deal. That can never be an issue with Monero because it's almost like they're reminted every time. Every time you get a Monero, it's brand new and shiny. Every time you get a Bitcoin, well, each year it's starting to look a little more old. It's got a couple more scratches. Uh, if it was like one of those pennies, it might be getting oxidized. I want to make a quick note of some other coins that could shine this year that are Zcash babies, essentially the forks of that or forks of forks of that, which would be Z Classic, which is uh, getting a lot of hype right now, which is they're going to fork into Bitcoin private. Quite honestly, I would totally expect Z Classic to die after that. But a lot of hype is surrounding Bitcoin private, so you may be impressed with the price there. And it's a good marketing technique in this year because Bitcoin private, this year people are going to realize Bitcoin is actually not that private. And if Bitcoin private is a private version of Bitcoin, a lot of people could flock to that. Then we also have Hush. I kind of view Hush as almost like Zen Cash's little brother. Um, you know, I'm not hating, I'm not saying this or that, but at the end of the day, you'll watch Zen Cash do something and then it seems like Hush is like, oh hey, we, asked, we actually uh, made this happen too. So, yeah, I'm not hating, but if you just look at it and you look at the timeline, you look at when, some, when Zencash puts X on their GitHub, then it uh, kind of gets modded and it's kind of on Hush's GitHub. Another cool one to watch is Bitcoin Z. Very, very uh, passionate community. Kind of like what I hear the Monero community is, which will probably, I don't know, if they're going to come here and like this video or hate this video. Come on, guys, I'm wearing this shirt. I'm wearing this shirt. So anyway, Bitcoin Z, they have a very active community and they're almost trying to recreate the coin in like the true essence of Bitcoin. Let's imagine if Bitcoin was reincarnated and instead of, you know, getting one Bitcoin per block, I mean, you get 50 Bitcoin per block, you get, uh, I think it's like 1250 on there. So a very large increase in the supply, but you know, the price reflects that and that could in turn, you know, based on how they set everything up, make for easy usability. No one wants to be like, hey, send me 0.0037 uh, Bitcoin, send me that. When they could be like, oh, send me, uh, you know, 307 Bitcoin Z, dude, kind of more cool, you know, thanks for buying my TV. There's a lot of other privacy centric coins out there if you want to do some research on say like Deep Onion or Z coin or uh, some people bring up Cloak coin. I haven't personally researched that one myself, but I mean, by name, it kind of sounds like a private coin, doesn't it? And so to sum up my point of what's the best privacy coin? Well, you know, I'd say it's, uh, I'd say it's undecided, you know, <laughs> look at that anticlimactic ending. So right now, you know, if you look at the market and usability and price and market cap and everything else, Monero is the best privacy coin. If you look at, you know, what you could see is like the project right on their tails trying to take that number one spot or debatably already has, 
you could say the best privacy coin is Zcash. If you look at Zcash versus Monero, I'd say you know we have like this epic fight that may always be a split decision. But if you wanna, some people have already coined this term, but some people say, I think it might have even been that stupid Tika report that pumped this coin to the moon, which was cool and stuff, but you know, I kind of wanted to mine more of it before that happened. Anyway, the Monero killer. Is Zencash the next Monero? Is it the next privacy coin? Is it the Monero killer? Uh, you know, only time will tell, and maybe these can totally coexist. And uh, that wouldn't make me unhappy. I hold Monero, I hold Zencash, and I hold Zcash. And it's not because I just can't pick one, but it's good to diversify. And I see value in all these different projects. Without Zcash, well, it's almost like Zencash is dead. And it's important that Zcash does well, and that technology kind of trickles down to Zencash, and then they implement even more on their platform. And, you know, by that method, Zencash is, I think, set up to overtake Zcash because it's like they're getting all the benefits with not really a ton of the work, and now they're implementing their own work to bring even newfound benefits, which may end up trickling back up, and Zcash is gonna benefit and utilize that. So who knows if we're gonna have like this Zcoin ecosystem. I will say for better and worse that Monero doesn't necessarily have that. There's Sumo Coin, which is a fork of Monero, and it's a pretty cool project, and uh, it's a pretty good coin to mine. But, you know, I, I haven't done enough research to say that they could work well, kind of in that backwards and forward compatibility as uh, Zcash and Zencash potentially could with the way things are going. So it's just something to think about. At the end of the day, you need to do your research and see what project seems appealing to you. I'm sorry Tails was in this video. Uh, I just let her out and I wanted to just shoot the last piece with her in it. Uh, right now she's just on strict rest and uh, she's having a lot of trouble walking unfortunately with everything else that's going on. But aside from that, let's focus on the video and wrap it up real quick so I can uh, get her back in. Basically, uh, the best privacy coin is up for us, the community, to decide in usability. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if one coin is better than the other. The best coin will be the one that's adopted and used. Uh, most people would say that Bitcoin is not the best cryptocurrency available right now. But it's still arguably the best crypto because it's the top crypto. So what's the best privacy coin for 2018? Only time will tell. But I hope this video helped pr uh, provoke some thought for you guys and just look at some key features such as Monero's ring signatures and Z uh, Zcash and Zencash and ZK Snark as well as uh, everything else that's taking place in the uh, cryptocurrency development. So with that said, everyone, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. And uh, Tails and I will see you next time. I'll be home.